Hello, I'm Anisha, project manager of Elios, and together we have created an emotionally supported platform that promotes the mental health of young people. Like our persona Hannah, young people today often experience fluctuating emotions and are looking for the best support resources to tackle their depressive episodes. But they are pushed away from accessing the support they need due to being both overwhelmed by the suffocating amount of mental health resources out there and underwhelmed by the generic and unspecific advice available. Our survey found that 67.5% of youth need support with their mental health, but don't know where to find it. Elios tackles this by aiming to curate and deliver targeted advice and external support designed to help young people aged 14 to 16 manage their emotional well-being needs, with a unique personalized dashboard that is tailored to them based on the answers they give to Elios. Our dashboard offers general advice to learn about your health, specific advice based on what the user has told us are key influences of their emotional well-being, self-care advice using their interests, and a list of how to manage past trauma. Rather than use a persona to illustrate Elios's impact, I'm going to do something better. A real young person that tested our prototype from NHS Tavistock commented that Elios has a quote, clear way to access resources which is often difficult for young people with little knowledge of mental health services to find. Very easy to use and seems very much to react to the user's personal needs and experience due to the tailored resources and personal dashboard, unquote. Elios can improve young people's experience of accessing mental health resources. We have even more positive feedback reiterating this message. Once Elios is popular, we plan to gain revenue by charging listing and licensing fees to organisations, i.e. apps, who want their resources to be recommended, or to organisations who want to integrate our chatbot tool into their online platforms. For Elios to reach lots of young people, we've thought about using popular social media apps like Snapchat and Instagram to create adverts and delivering mental health awareness sessions at schools and youth clubs that would allow us to signpost young people to Elios as well as producing leaflets about Elios that can be found in mental health trusts and wellbeing centres. But how did we do it? Well, we have created a machine learning power and recommendation engine in Python using sklearn that is able to recommend to users advice apps and website them that meet their preferences and well-being needs. We do this by collecting user feedback for each resource we recommend to them before generating a new list of resources from our database that we have predicted they will like by analyzing keywords and determining similarities between users. We also use the Keyword Extraction API on text input questions to find resources for the key influences that will be used as emotion, such as school, exams, or even family life. Key ethical considerations we must make include concerns surrounding the dangers of making recommendations based on keywords that may not apply to every user, as well as concerns around protecting user data and complying with GDPR regulations, since the data we are collecting is both special category data and subject to Article 22 of using personal information in decision making. We hope to speak with a data protection and storage expert in order to make our product as ethical and safe as possible for young people. On behalf of Elios, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone for listening to us and a big thank you to all the mentors who supported us. Thank you. Thank you.